now let us talk about blue ray disc in this we will see the introduction why blue ray and what is the need of blue ray what are the blue ray formats blue ray storage specifications the construction of blue ray and how does blue ray work actually and the advantages of blue ray and also the terms which are generally used along with blue ray so blue ray is also known as blue ray disc or in short we call it as bd is the name of the next generation optical disc format jointly developed by the blue ray disc association that is bda it was developed by bda uh, a group of leading consumer electronics and pc companies there are various companies which took part in this so blue ray disc was a joint venture of bda and all these companies but uh, before coming to blue ray let us see the optical storage mediums or devices which were there so previously it was cds cds uh, normally can store up to 74 minutes of music and this is how this is calculated because there were some you know number of samples per channel per second and there were two bytes per sample then two channels and then 74 minutes and then 60 seconds per minute so it comes down to this much a number of uh, the memory of which it can store so fairly simple piece of plastic was there most of you have seen it and it was around 1.2 uh, mm thick and 12, 12 cm diameter now injection molded piece of clear polycarbonate plastic was there inside and it uses a red laser of wavelength around 780 nanometer to read this data track this is how uh, the construction of cd was this was the actual label this was the acrylic and this was the aluminum and this was around 1.2 mm thick and this was you know this to this length because there were crust and troughs crust and troughs crust and troughs so it was around 125 nm and uh, the base was polycarbonate plastic so this 780 nm la red laser is generally used uh, with a lens aperture of 0.45 for reading the data track so the tracks you may say you may have, might have seen the running tracks so in the similar way in running tracks or in th these tracks round circular tracks the data are stored in the form of crest and troughs a cd has a single spiral track of uh, data like this okay you know it starts and it goes on till the end and the data track is approximately 0.5 micron wide uh, with 1.6 uh, micron separating one track to another this the this is the distance so this is the distance between 1.6 micron between uh, two you may say that data track which are uh, next to each other this is around 0.5 micron which is the data track size and these are the bumps on the cd these are the bumps very very minute you will you will not be able to fail it actually but they are the, these are the basic um, idea behind reading the track then came the dvds what are these dvds dvds are uh, of the same diameter and thickness as cds almost similar in look and feel and they are made using some of uh, some of uh, same material and manufacturing method like a cd So a standard DVD holds about seven times more data than CD does. So the data, you know, enhancement was quite large, and it uses a red laser of wavelength six fifty nanometer to read the track. Right? This is a single sided. This is the single sided single layer. This is single sided double layer. You know, if this is four point seven GB, it is almost double. and this is double sided double layer around 17 gb of data can be stored this is the cross section of uh, dvd again the formation is uh, crescent trough only 60 uh, around uh, 650 nanometer red laser with uh, a less aperture of 0.6 was utilized to read the uh, data now a dvd has a single spiral track of uh, data just like C cd 
in the similar fashion data track uh, is just 740 nanometers separate one track from another see this is just 740 nanometer so this is a huge gain as compared to your CD so elongated bumps elongated bumps that make up the track are around 320 nanometers these are 320 nanometers wide right a minimum of 400 nanometers long and this is 400 this is 320 this is 400 nanometer long and 120 nanometer uh, you know in the height so the uh, you know measurement came to nanometers in DVD so this is the huge gain now let's come to uh, blu-ray hope you understood how uh, the data capacity of uh, dvd has increased just because the formation has changed now blu-ray this name is a combination of this blue for the color of laser that is used right and a ray for optical ray this is the color this is the ray the e in this blue this e in the, this blue was purposefully let off according to the manufacturers because an everyday word cannot be trademarked right that is why just for trademarking this uh, this e was left off now uh, need of a blue ray why it was required you know the standard dvd can hold up to 4.7 gb of data we all know of information now that's about the size of an average two hour standard definition movie with a few extra features now if you talk about high definition movie which is much clearer you know many pixels are there and resolution is quite high the images takes up to five times more bandwidth and therefore it requires this with about five times more storage then what to do you would, you need at least five times that of that the storage of standard DVD, as TV sets and movie studios make the mov movie in uh, or move to high definition consumers, they are going to need playback system with a lot more storage capacity. This was actually the need of Blu-ray. So Blu-ray has certain formats: BD-ROM, this is read only for pre-recorded content; this is BDR, recordable for PC data storage. This is BDRW for rewritable re for PC data storage and BDRE this is rewritable for HDTV high definition TV recording. Now let us talk about the storage specification as we did for CD and DVD. A single layer Blu-ray disc which is roughly the same size as DVD can hold up to 27 GB of data. That's more than two hours of high definition video or about 13 hours of standard video, right? So a double layer blue ray disc, it can store 27 into 254 GB, enough to hold about 4.5 hours, hours of high definition video or more than 20 hours of standard video. And there are even plans in the world to develop a disc with twice that of this 54 GB, around 100 GB it will be. So this was uh, a comparison between Blu-ray versus DVD capacity. This was a single layer DVD for 0.7 GB of data. So every two hours standard definition movie with a few extra features. This is uh, single layer Blu-ray disc. This is double layer Blu-ray disc. Single layer 27 GB of data. That is more than 13 hours of standard video. More than two hours of high definition video. While double layer blu-ray disc 54 gb of data that is more than 20 hours of standard video and 4.5 hours of high dv high definition digital video so how is the construction of blue ray is done Do, look at this the figure carefully each blu-ray disc is about 1.2 this is 1.2 millimeter thick and 12 centimeter diameter do you find any difference between this blu-ray cd and dvd not much so blu-ray has pits that are only 0.15 microns right these pits are these pits see these are white round circle shape these are pits 0.15 microns so this is more than twice as small as the pits on dvd 
so blue ray has a track pitch from 0.7 micron 0.74 micron to 0.32 micron okay this is also a great um, enhancement so this is a par polycarbonate layer right this is a minimum bit uh, pit uh, length of 0.15 micrometer that i just explained this is the recording layer these are the recording layers and this is an optical transmission and protection layer this one and uh, we have track pitch that is 0.32 micron which is what i told you and this is how the blue razor um, this laser is used to read the data now how does this uh, blue ray work so disk are uh, actually the storing data digitally uh, encoded video and audio information in the form of pits everywhere in, even if your cd or dvd the crest and troughs so the data is stored in the uh, in the pits so spiral grooves that run from the center of the disc to the edges now the laser reads the other side of these pits the bumps these are the bumps the crest and troughs which i was talking about so the blue ray uses a blue laser of very short wavelength 405 nanometer then a red laser 650 nanometer and it reads the bumps this is how the blue ray media looks like this is a tdk bdr and bdrw this is samsung bdr and rw this is tdk bdr and re you know uh, read write and only recordable so this is how the blu ray uh, you know disc you can see and this is the blu ray hardware on which the cd is going to run or the dvd or the or the blu ray disc is uh, going to run there are various uh, companies which are offering it and uh, we have certain advantages of blu-ray it record high definition television hd tv without any quantity loss it is uh, instantly uh, you know skip to any spot on the disc and record one program while watching another on the disc it create it may create cre playlist it edit programs recorded on the disc it automatically search for empty space on the disc to avoid recording over a program and it access the web to download subtitles and uh, other extra features as well and blue ray discs are better armed than current dvds because they come equipped with a secure encryption system already so a unique id that protects against any video piracy and copyright infringement so blue ray has a higher data rate around 36 mbps and do not have the problems of buyer fringe and disc tilt so this blu ray availability blu ray recorders are well already available in you know in, not in japan everywhere this this is this is we need to just uh, see from today's view everywhere you can find blu ray players are there and it is widely in use and let us uh, while uh, you know we are concluding let us see various terms which are being used there are standard definition uh, it includes standard formats used for video distribution that is ntsc and pal formats these are the standard definition ntsc and pal ntsc actually displays total of 30 frames per second but it does this in a sequence of 60 fields so each of which contains alternating line of the pictures and at the specification of 525 uh, scan lines these are the 525 scan lines and 500 dots of horizontal resolution it is uh, used in america and japan and uh, while the pal which displays 50 fields 50 fields per second and or 25 this this was 30 frame per second this is 25 frame per second at a specification of 625 lines and 500 dots of horizontal resolution so this is used in asian and european countries and what about high definition this format has higher resolution it displays an image in a sequence of 720 by 1080 into generally called as 761080 into 768 or 768 into 1080 you can call it 720 into 1080 these are 720 dots of horizontal resolution and uh, this variety scan lines like this similar in this way and uh, there are the terms uh, generally used with blu-ray or the blu-ray uh, playing uh, devices 
which is which is HD TV. It is a television which supports high definition content on TV broadcast. That is minimum 768 into 1020. This requires a high resolution screen and a special tuner called HD tuner. Here this buyer fringes in a DVD. The data is sandwiched between two polycarbonate layers, having a polycarbonate layer on top of the data. That can cause a problem called buyer fringes. in which the substrate layer refracts the uh, laser light into two separate beams so if the beam is split too widely the disc cannot be read so this is a problem with our blue ray buyer fringes and disc tilt is if the dvd surface is not exactly flat and is therefore not exactly perpendicular to the beam it can lead to the problem known as a disc tilt in which the laser beam is uh, distorted due to which a dvd is rendered useless so in these two cases the these are the terms when we say that use the blue ray disc is not of any use thank you so much Ho hope you got some idea about uh, blue ray this is just an introduction you have to go through more detail thank you so much take care